I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Hi, I'm Alan Weiss. Welcome to The Writing on the Wall. This is episode 48 and I call this one Marketing Gravity. This is another one of my six or eight minute tutorials which I thought any of you in professional services could use. I created this concept called Marketing Gravity which is meant to draw people to your brand and value. And so Marketing Gravity create a variety of roads, a variety of alternatives for people to reach you and to use you. Uh, some of these might not be comfortable. That's okay. That's why there are so many. But if none of them are comfortable, uh, you're probably in the wrong business. And so, no particular order, but we'll just start at 12 o'clock here. And these are referrals. The thing that most consultants I know, and speakers, and facilitators, and coaches, trainers, the thing they do least well is ask for referrals. You should be going to each of your past and present clients and even key contacts at least three times a year, if not once a quarter, and asking for referrals. You have to look at this as a win-win-win-win-win relationship. That is, you're not trying to take something, you're trying to provide value to more people. And so that really benefits the person giving you the referral, they're doing someone a favor, benefits that person because you'll help them, benefits you and your business. And so this is a three-way win. So you have to ask for referrals. Next is a commercially published book. I've uh, abbreviated CP here. A commercially published book. By that I mean one of the major publishers. Uh, McGraw-Hill, Wiley, Simon & Schuster, Prentice Hall, Amacom, and so forth. A commercially published book will open doors for you. I think it's magic when people play the piano. A lot of people think it's magic when I publish a book. Commercially published books will open doors. You're not looking to be a best-selling author. If you become one, all the more power to you. But I've, a lot of authors have what I call first book-itis. They want to get certain rankings on Amazon.com and so forth. The key with a commercially published book is simply to open more doors because you have credibility. That leads to columns, writing columns for even a local business publication. Most cities have something called Crane's Business. Here they have the Providence Business News. I'm sure there's something like that on a weekly basis where you are. Try to write a column for that publication. Articles. You can write articles in hard copy for hard copy publications or electronically today. There are uh, opportunities all over the internet uh, if you're interested, get a book called A Writer's Market, and it will tell you about all the periodicals published in the United States. There are similar things overseas, and you'll learn who accepts freelance articles, whether or not they pay, which is irrelevant, you don't care, and how to submit an inquiry. Newsletters. Create your own newsletter. People tell me there are too many newsletters out there. Well, the reason there are too many newsletters is that people are reading them. And so competition opens markets, doesn't narrow markets. People read newsletters. Here's a hint. The more specialized they are to your audience, the more they'll be read. And so create a newsletter which is appropriate for the demographic you want to reach. You might not want to reach everybody on your contact list. It might be too broad. Create two or three different newsletters if you have to. The key to a newsletter, consistency. Periodically, at the same time, all the time. So if it's monthly, the first of the month, the 15th, whatever you want to do. If it's quarterly, the same period each quarter. Blogs. I've become a big fan of blogs. Go to contrarianconsulting.com. You'll see an example of mine. But the key about a blog is this. As I, as I speak to you today, there are 200 million blogs in the world. Most of them are crap. The 1 or 2 percent that aren't have audio, video, text, links, commentary, and they talk about a diversity of things appropriate for the audience for that blog. And so you have to post something three or four times a week. You have to be provocative. You have to provide intellectual property. If you can do that, a blog is great for you. It builds brands. Position papers. These are white papers, position papers. Uh, they're papers that you create electronically or hard copy or both, which state your expertise. They're not promotional. They talk about the issues as you see them in your field of expertise and help establish you as an expert so people will come to you. The gravity will work. Print and electronic interviews. Doing interviews with third parties tacitly gives you their endorsement. Uh, you can find on things like PRLeads.com, for example, I have no financial connection with them, but PRLeads.com uh, uh, creates uh, every morning, uh, several times a day, uh, a list on your computer of, authors in, of uh, reporters' inquiries. And so you can learn who's looking for what kind of information about what stories. And there are people in my mentor program who regularly appear in the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and so forth through sources like that part of your gravity. 
Radio and TV interviews. These are easier to do than ever before. There's a dearth of content in the, in the um, in airwaves. And so uh, you can find yourself doing radio interviews from your home with your feet up on your desk. You can go to local studios to do TV interviews. I was on a ABC uh, not that long ago. You can see a copy of it on my website. Uh, people are looking for content experts to comment on current affairs. And so no matter what your specialty is, what your niche is, uh, you can arrange for these as well. Serendipity. Uh, look for opportunity. Don't ignore it. I got a blanket um, uh, request once, a mailing that wasn't even a first class mailing, you know, just about said occupant on it, but they were looking for free articles uh, for a new uh, diversity uh, publication. And I said, I don't know that much about diversity, but I have dealt with diverse situations in my consulting business. And I said, what could I write about? I wrote about the fact that most interviewers tend to like people who are most like them and not different from them. The article caught on, they asked me for more. I wound up creating diversity booklets, which I called rejoicing in diversity, not managing diversity. And I wound up doing consulting projects on diversity for Merck and companies like that. You never know where the next opportunity will come from. Don't just ignore them. Press releases. You should send out press releases as often as you can. There are places on the web where you can send them out for free. If you go to my blog, contrarianconsulting.com, and do a little search, you'll find 12 or 15 places where you can send out press releases for free. Anytime you get a new client, with the client's permission, of course, you get an award, you get an accolade, you're traveling to a new place, you've come out with new intellectual property, send out a press release. Pro bono work. I'm not talking about sitting at home doing phone calls and soliciting money. Work for United Way, work for the Red Cross, work for whatever charity or group that you choose to, and you'll be working elbow to elbow with people who are general managers, directors, vice presidents, managing editors, uh, and they will be your peer just by dint of working on that charity with you. And that's a great way to meet people and a great way to make contacts, market gravity. Uh, social media platforms. Now, let me be clear here. Uh, on Facebook or Twitter, or LinkedIn, if you are a corporate consultant, you are not going to, by and large, make the contacts you need. You might for other purposes, not for that. However, it's good to be on them if you don't spend too much time on them to get your name out there, to get your value out there. Every day I post on Twitter, every single day. Uh, I'm, my uh, my uh, handle on Twitter, or whatever you call it, is at BentleyGTCSpeed. And uh, I have probably a thousand tweets uh, I have 2,000 followers, and my name gets around that way. So that takes me five minutes a morning or less. That's the way to use social media platforms, unless you use them for entertainment. Networking. Don't network where you think you should. That is, don't network with other consultants. That doesn't help you. And don't try to network uh, where your buyers won't be present. Now, where are your buyers going to be present? You might say to me, well, I can't get in to certain trade association meetings because I'm not a member. Your buyers are present at award ceremonies, at political fundraisers, at charity events, and so on and so forth. Network where they are. Buy a ticket. Join the group. Be there for that kind of thing where you'll meet them on a personal basis. And when you network, by the way, it's interesting. I call this distance power. You're better off networking with strangers who have no preconception about you at all. So don't be afraid to do that. Self-publishing. I talked about commercial publishing up here. Self-publishing. Publish a pamphlet. Publish a catalog, publish uh, an abstract, publish things yourself that you think your prospects will enjoy. If you watched my video last month, you saw the accelerant curve. These kinds of things would be the upper left-hand corner. Now, I'll tell you something. Here's an exception to self-publishing. If you are in a very specific niche, uh, say the management of mid-level law firms, uh, the, um, a, a chain uh, of uh, pediatric centers for children, you can self-publish because the narrower your niche, the less you need commercial publishing. In fact, the less a commercial publisher will be interested and the more you're able to self-publish. So if you have that kind of niche and you have enough to say, then think about a self-published book, but do it so that it looks like a commercially published book in terms of its quality. And you can find printers, even people who will take on that whole job for you at very reasonable costs. 